talking about the vision for this building here, my main vision was to build a modern building for a modern central bank. And within this environment, to combine a brand new building with a listed building. So to combine the history with a very modern development. In my role as coordinator for the environmental issues, it's also very important to have an energy efficient building. And the ECB has stated that we want to be 30% more energy efficient than the regulation for energy consumption which was issued in 2007 is. The building here is designed to be environmentally friendly. We collect rainwater from the roofs in order to irrigate the gardens. We recycle heat from our computer centre in order to heat the offices. We have an automatic facade system using blinds to keep out the heat and the cold while maximising daylight in the offices. All of these systems are automated, they're controlled from here. This is the facility management control centre and we have people here 24 hours a day monitoring energy usage and making sure that the building is energy efficient. We also wanted to provide our staff with very functional, comfortable rooms to operate in a climate which is stimulating. The second issue is that we at ECB here in the center of Europe have to provide a lot of meeting capacity to bring together all these central bankers and financial experts of Europe in our new house. Environmental protection is key for infrastructural facility services. All our external service providers are required to comply with state-of-the-art environmental standards. For example, catering, the Origo concept ensures a sustainable food chain. Stationary, 30% of all products we purchase are EcoEasy products. ADS is constantly looking into the opportunity to further improve the environmental profile in all our services to make the ECB a greener place. I work in the city centre but I often come here for meetings and trainings and the thing I really like about this building is that it has wireless LAN everywhere so there's no real need to print anything anymore. Another thing I like is that the building has its own drinking water coming from the tap. So no more bottled water in the kitchenettes. I'm really looking forward to having this where I work as well. In the city centre, the ECB rents the Euro Tower. It's the ECB's first lease agreement that includes environmental criteria and its policy. This was reflected in its major refurbishment in 2015. Improvements to the technical infrastructure, new combined heat and power plants and LED lighting will result in lower emissions and reduced energy consumption. A green building certification is in scope. The IMAS Directive have provided us with a solid framework for launching the Green ECB initiative and its successful implementation in the past years. I'm certain our organization will continue to fight climate change and I'm proud to be part of the team. The ECB currently has 38 environmental representatives who act as ambassadors for the Green ECB initiative within our business areas, spreading information about the Green ECB and its activities. I've been really impressed with the ECB job ticket which is an initiative to encourage staff to use public transport more frequently within Frankfurt. I use it myself, and since its launch, more than a third of people who wouldn't regularly use public transport now commute to work in this way. I see the Green Initiative as a catalyst for change. And change not only here at the ECP, but also in our personal lives. EMAS provides us 
with a very solid platform to continuously strive for a reduction of our carbon footprint.